Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the thousand-year-old door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and a far-off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it said the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell the blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was the very world that had come to a violent end. But, and but in a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed in the pages of fairy tales, and when the town's site no, no longer held the relics of the past, people gathered at that spot to build a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is a tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueborn. Yes, this is where it begins, in a sea town of Rogueborn. The tale of the request for legendary treasure, and a thousand-year-old door, starts here. Finally, I have a minute without to tools worth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on a holiday, only to be struck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I like the chance to look around and on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, it all seems that this that this town has a very um distinct flavor. Oh Missy, Missy! Missy Do you mean me? Yes, you Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh well. Oh well. Um Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It's said that this box holds a map that shows the legendary tre where legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magical lock that uh, will only open to a noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as bold. Too fast to read. Oh. I know if the box were open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I'm sure that whatever's in there will be no use for someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll try to open it. Definitely mind-blowing. Hello everyone, this is Captain Palinel P here, and thanks for putting up with my <laughs> silly beginning of the story, but welcome to Let's Play number 6, Paper Mario and a Thousand Year Old Door. And this game was copyrighted in 2004 by Nintendo, game developed by Intelligent Systems. So let's go ahead and press start button here. And we got ourselves a new save file, so we got a new save file here. So, it has been a while since I've played this game. As you can tell, this is my playtime from the last file. Let's go ahead and reach file 4, because it has... But it has been incredibly long since i played this, though. It's been quite a while. But, for those of you who have been wondering why this is called Let's Play number 6, I will explain this towards the end of this episode. But for now, I'm gonna kind of go ahead and get this started. So let's just go ahead and get the show on a road here. Uh, let's call myself. Uh, back. Come on, back up, back up. Well, 
Would you take my pee, please? Take my pee, please. Okay. But yes, this is Let's Play number six. Um, another good pal. Pa da 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 da. D D. Back up. D D D. I N. All right, we're getting there. All right. Done. Okay, Paladin. Yes, we're doing it. So we begin. Go ahead. Let's start the show here. And here we are at Mario and Luigi's house. There's Paracarry from the last Super Mario series. Mail call. There's Luigi. Hey, bro, check it out. It's a letter from the beach. Why, for you. I can't even do Luigi's voice either. Gee, and the crickets. This is going to be a lot of vo bad voice acting for sure, but here we go. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? <laughs> it's kind of like, you don't trust me and open my own damn mail? Ahem. Now, let's see. Ahem. Let's now see here. Hello there, Mario. I'm on... I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But s since it was too difficult for me to try to go and find a tre treasure all by myself, I thought you could come and... Come help... I thought you could c help me hunt for it. You will? Of course you will. You won't, you... I, like, I really have a say in this to begin with. I've included the map with this letter, so pre please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogue Park. This means you must come. Well, well, apparently we don't have much of a choice. But it is a royal princess, and you know how we must do just to do everything that the princess says here. What do you know? It's true. The weather no map is in here with the letter. Check it out. And that is the rogue part right there, so. But yes, this is. At, well, let's play number six. And I will get, as I said before, I will continue to explain what, um, the. Um, what happened to Scooby Doo in here in just a minute. But probably towards the end of this introductory ep episode here, but. Let's go ahead and start the prologue chapter. A rogue's welcome. So here we go in the pro introductory chapter. Excuse me, sir? Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, there's Rogueport. That's definitely first-person view. You see, we arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. But, this is basically our starting point here. Rogueport. Port of Rogue Park. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I... I did tell you about the sordid tales about Rogue Port on our way here, didn't I not? What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting here for you. Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, that's what you think. I won't s stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Thanks for the advice, buddy. I just, I wish all boats were able to do that, but we are officially here in Rogueport now. A jump, B use your hammer. Um, L and R really don't have a f purpose in here. Z brings up your status like that. You got ten hit points at this point. Five flower points. No, you got no star points, and you got one hundred coins. So just kind of be aware of that. 
journal. You got a map here. That's all basically all you have. And you press that by going to your um, start here. Start here. That's your press start. You go to your status right away. Um, your just shows your level. Your um, star rank. Um, the battle sequence will go into detail, of course. That's your hammer. You got your shoes, which is your jumping ability. You also like the original Paper Mario. You got badge points. You got star points, coins, star pieces, star shine sprites, and that's your clock. So we've been playing for five minutes in this, officially in this game. So let's go ahead and talk to some of the people around here. Oi, welcome to Wall Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have you been a wee bit of advice on me? Hit that save block to save. Cause the thing about life is you never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. Sound of icing time. Hit this block. Now that you got your save blocks, if you get a game over at any point of the game, you'll return to the last save block. So you want to cons plan out your save points as well. So, you know. Anytime you find a block on your adventure, be sure to save. Yes, we're starting a new file. And it so. Talk to this toad here. What do you want, pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Owe you money, or is she a girlfriend? Well, excuse me. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off it, you airhead. Hoo-hoo, that's not a way to treat a lady. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walk around the town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, no, I'm doing the ass, but if you be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never, never. I don't want anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose you want to be an sassy little lass like you. Met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Cup, we're on it. No, no, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. I can't even do Goombella's voice, but yes, that is Goombella. Huff, hoof, 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 out of the way, you scallywag. Lure your love little bones. Screw you. Like I go to anyone with smelly language takes up you. Huff, not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Mario's like, what the hell? <laughs> Gah, it's always something. Like, I'm going to have to give you a little taste of your old crump bomb and we get our first battle of the game so you can't flee this fight battle time mr. man just just find a way to beat this freak of the week okay don't sweat the details just jump on them and hit them with your hammer only if I had a co-commentator over this game I would be so joyful someone who can actually do Goombella but of course, you got your standard commands, um, tactics. You can defend, of course. You can jump. You got. Um, you can always use your hammer. And of course, you don't items, but you don't have any. So let's just use a hammer. And the instructions are generally self-explanatory. Sweet, you know that hurt. Well, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up, and you'll beat him in no time. You missed! Haha! <laughs> Defense! You want another one? Yeah, I think you're gonna get another one. And rock and roll! That's another two. You got them on the ropes! Come on! Keep it wheeling them! Ah, I get into my defense attack commands. Let's do another whack of the hammer. And with six hit points, he's gone. You did it! You did it! Yes! And now you got star points. Yeah, I bet you know what you these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? And right, we only lost one hit point. That is groovy. <laughs> okay, so you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means it's go time. Punish him! Quick! This 
Three. Phew. Let bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? That's okay by me. Oh, oh. Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, where did you see them? Did anyone? Uh, apparently not. Oh, uh, crud, they bolted. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. <laughs> oh, gosh, just like a Paper Mario. Oh, my gosh. My name's Gabelita. I'm a student of the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? Oh, uh, Mario. Wait, you mean the famous guy? Wow, I couldn't believe my I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but you looks like you just rolled yourself into town, right? Me? I already hate it here. These freaks are... Er and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know a place called Rogueport, so I should have expected it. Sheesh. Sounds like me when I say sheesh. I never come to a place like this if there weren't for some legendary treasure here. <gasps> Mario knows something about it. Mario's looking. What? Are you looking for some legendary treasure too? Seriously? What? Whoa, Bucko, what you got there? Look at those two Piantas in the background. Oh my gosh! Is it is that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach, what? Great hookity boogity, isn't it Master Mario? <laughs> those piantas are beating those <laughs> bit of a coincidence, bumping you into another another in this sort of place. Ha huh? ho ho. The boss sent it. yeah, you watch that back there, it says look at it back there. Those jerks. We won't forget this. <laughs> we'll deal. We'll we'll see about that in just a little bit. But we'll go back to the story here. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you in this wretched little burg? Hmm. Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter in the treasure map, and she told you she'll meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Her. I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot for fuel, a fuel for a ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. <gasps> you know how strong she is, Mrs. Mario. I just assume she'll be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find you here. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario. And this is not it. I leave this test to you. Oh, duh. Go figure. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there. Enjoy a spot of cheap hops. In fact, I highly recommend it. Particularly if you find... Oh, my gosh. I should have eaten dinner. <laughs> in fact, I highly recommend it. Particularly if you find your heart, po <laughs> heart points running low. Just drop by on in. Woohoo. Yes, anyway, a little rest will fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Uh, Princess Peach? Did he mean like Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom pe Princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser to Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec. This is crazy. Princess Peach sent you to Treasure Mountain? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, there, where could she have gone? Tell, then, do you think? You think maybe she's sick of waiting and went to find a treasure of, on her own? Oh, oh, I know, Mario, come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for a treasure, then maybe we'll catch up with Prince of Peach. Prince of Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. And we got Goombella, as with, compared to Goombario in there. Hat and it looks like a more of a, um architecture kind of a hat and architectures you know use, but yes she is.
she's a primer. If you press X about people nearby, people, places, and objects. This is Robot Pleasure. It's the center of town and main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more and a few shady characters. In time you press X, there's no one's around. I'll tell you about where we are. And you talk, you can also, you know, kind of like, um, identify people because she knows all the people that she meets. So if you press X, if somebody nearby, you basically, she's basically, a t you know, she knows a lot about, um, the area and what her surroundings pretty much. But basically, she's like Goom Mario from the first Paper Mario. She has a title ability and a head bonk, so... But unlike the first Paper Mario game, you your partner has their separate hit points, so... You know, she can... You can render them useless if their hit points get low as well, so... Just so you know. First off, we gotta find my professor. Thing is, since I just got into town myself, I, um, don't know... Don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what the professor frankly looks like. So, we are here in Rogue Park. So, we are going to go and save our game. And I think we're going to end things here, given that this is our introductory episode. And I think I need to owe, I owe you guys an explanation of what happened to Let's Play number 6. And I'll go ahead and close out the, you know, the episode. Um... Strange things happened just today, and this is August 4 or 6, 2013, when this is, um, um, just happened. Um, it was, apparently, I don't know if this is merely a coincidence or not, but, um, apparently, Warner Brothers filed a copy strike, or a copyright claim against my LP. Now, I don't know how I tried to all precautions, but apparently Warner Brothers did not like, didn't want this to happen because one, I think they're trying to protect, have all their YouTube stuff for a paid subscription, and two, they're they have a new series out on, on Cartoon Network, so un unfortunately, um. That LP is no longer in existence. This is the new LP number six. I I really want to say from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry for all this what happened. I this is happened to one episode. I guess they looked at um, by the time I you know posted all the episodes, I only had six episodes up. But apparently, they thought I crossed a line somewhere. I don't know if they did it to the other people who did this game or what. But I'm, you know, I want to say I'm sorry on my end. I, I guess I should have known, but at the same time, you know, I, I took whatever precautions I could to prevent this from happening. And, you know, I even, you know, didn't even use the intros, but apparently I crossed the line somewhere. So that LP is no longer existence. I took everything to down today. I am really mad about this. I am virtually mad about this. I thought this was just be another one of those selfish things, but you know, maybe if I had a better chance with Nintendo, I probably would have, but but this is Warner Brothers and I swear, you know, they own everything about Scooby-Doo and apparently they wanted to enforce it and it was Apparently it was something, an infraction caused in episode 3, and I don't even remember what I did. I, I didn't even keep the episode or anything like that, but but the, just to let you know for future reference, this is going to be my new Let's Play for Let's Play number 6, and, you know, from there, you know, there's nothing I can do. You know, I know some of you were expecting, you know, more Scooby-Doo and I... I thought that I was just doing so well. I was all the way up to um, the last boss. I was going to release some more soon, but apparently um, they didn't like me, um, I guess, doing this LP. 
So whatever's been said and done, I ain't gonna. I'm not even going to consider doing this out gaming yet. So whether I should have known, I don't know. I I would still have done this LP, but apparently Warner Brothers thought I crossed the line somewhere. I don't even remember what I did wrong. So I take full responsibility no matter what happens, I guess. So, but that that one strike will stay with me for six months. So, I I guess this will probably be the, the, the well this will be the new Let's Play number six then. So, you know, I don't know what else to say about this matter. I'm I'm still peeved. I am very mad that this happened. I thought I had covered my ass uh, thoroughly, but I guess we'll. Go ahead and end my uh, rant, well, more or less, um, uh, editor's note here. And in the next episode of Paper Mario, A Thousand Year Old Door, we're going to continue the prologue. And find out where Professor Frankly and see about starting this game here. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been Captain Palinelpi here, signing off. Have a good night, folks.